You already know what's going on, man. I'm right here with a real one, man. You know it. You did, my dog. Trio Tony Michael. What up, dog? I go by just Tony Michael, not old broski. Oh shit, for real? Yeah, they don't want to let me change my uh my name on Instagram because if I change this, I'm gonna lose my blue check and shit. So that's I how just Instagram do. Yeah, but right now, you know, I'm moving independent, man. I'm rocking by myself, just trying to get it. For shit. So we um you had a huge record a while back with Boosie. Super big. You know what I'm saying? Private so, room. Private room, exactly. Yeah, so we had Rich Homie on that too though. What happened with that? Um that was I mean that was a success, a big success. Shout out to True Entertainment. You know, I, I love my people at True Entertainment. They did a lot for me, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But the song came out, it was real fast. I mean I met him, he did the song, the video came out, I was all over the city, all over the world. We was touring, we was doing shows, making right. money. And then, it, you know, it died down. And when that happened, I feel like they just kind of shelved the nigga, put me on the shelf, and was like, you know. Yeah. But that is what it is. Now we just working. We bad working. That's how that matters. Um, so originally, where you from? New Orleans, uptown. Uptown. Yeah, but I fuck with the West Bank, too. All my partners on the West Bank, I fuck with all of them. Okay. Yeah. So what was it like, I mean, I guess, growing up? I grew up in group homes, dog. Yeah, yeah I mean, a lot of niggas don't know that shit, but if you go, like, Google me and shit, turn the mic on Google, look at my bio, it'll tell you everything. Grew up in group homes, grandma raised me, uncle raised me. They passed on me. When they died, life was crazy. Mama was, you know, a drug addict at the time. Daddy was, um, you know, I don't want to talk too bad about him, but y'all get the picture. You feel know what I'm saying? So that's about so, what it was. You kind of had it hard for the most part. Had it hard. <laughs> Outrageous, you know what I mean? Nigga grew up hard, for real. Yeah. You know, and it's people that, that you wouldn't even expect that go through the most shit who be the most humble. Cause, man, cause but you come out really humble, you know, you're cool. Man, what I done learned over the years, the people that go through the most shit is always the most humble. It's not Every sometime, time. it's Every all time. the yeah. time. You feel what I'm saying? If you really look into it, a lot of the biggest people in the world, I watched Kanye West documentary last night. Yeah, yeah I haven't watched it, it's pretty good. Yeah, me and my booking agent, Seven, mm -hmm. were watching uh, the documentary, and dude never was home. He never sat down. He, wow. he, he, every day, all day, he was grinding, but he was humble. The whole People time. was rejecting him, telling him they ain't like his music. He ain't the one I stick to producing. You hear me? Mm -hmm. But dude was like, okay, cool, and walk off humble, not mad, nothing. He like he ain't hit a vision yet. Let's go to the next one. So that's my mindset. Now I ain't lying. Like shout out Keep to Kanye. Pushing. Shout out to Kanye. People be talking crazy about him because how he dressed, he weird and shit. Kanye, a motherfucking genius, yeah. hustler. You hear me? Hustler, that's me. All right. Shout out Rob for now. You hear me from New Orleans. <laughs> so, man. So, like, you know, when I first met you, I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? This is, a, you got another rapper. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna come over here, gonna spit some shit. But then, you're a fucking singer, nigga. Like, and not just a singer, like a, a real deal vocalist. Like, I can lay you down. Easy. Take your panties off. Kiss yourself, lady. I'm not about to do all that. Let's talk love, right? <laughs> hey, we gotta have the females in for all that, man. But now, nah, man, like, and, and it's 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 like, bro, you freestyle all your shit too. A lot of people don't know that, like, yeah. bro. I just found out, like, we yeah. played the heart behind you, like, for like ten seconds or twenty, and you went crazy. See, I, I I feel like the greatest rapper of all time in my in, in my world mm -hmm. is Lil Wayne. Oh hell yeah, Lil yeah. Wayne freestyle everything he write. So my vision was like, okay, I'm not a rapper. I can rap, a lot of people don't know that. But I'm not a rapper, I'm a singer, I'm an R&B nigga, real talk. But I'm like, if I can have a mindset of Wayne in my R&B world, it's gonna fuck him up. You know That's crazy. Mean? And then I sing a lot of music for the struggle, but I also got my toxic side for the women, I got my sex side for the women. I got the heartbreaks for my niggas who done been through some shit, you know what I mean? But my heart is really for the struggle, I ain't gonna lie, cause niggas just come up from the struggle, so I'd be trying to put on for my for my city. Right. So what's like I guess one of the hardest things you had to deal with? Uh probably really just losing my grandma and my uncle within the same year span. Yeah. See when they both died, that's what caused me to go into the group homes and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that was most of it. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that man. Mm -hmm. Um so shit, I mean like is that what inspires you to do a lot of the music that you do? Um, I could lie and say it is, but it ain't. What inspired me to do it is just my love for music. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, he, he, he ain't had a hard life, so 
we should listen to his music. Nah, I don't, I don't want you to listen to my music because my life was hard. Your life was hard too. Right. I want you to listen to my music because I'm raw. My shit raw. Listen to my music because you fuck with me. You hear me? Don't worry about what I've been through. I'm good. I'm standing. I'm strong. You hear me? Just focus on the music, man. Yeah, bro, that's some real shit because a lot of artists do kind of, you know, go off of it. Yeah, I just, you know, like they live through their music. But you saying shit, you just love music, so shit. It's like a lot of my music tells stories. And if you listen to it, you find out who I am. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So if they want to get the in depth of who I am, go listen to the music. Go listen to the fucking music. Go listen to the music. <laughs> Any artists that you want to work with, like in particular? Oh, yeah, bro. He, don't really, he ain't really been making too much of music right now. And I don't really know exactly what's going on in his personal life. But I never got a chance to really chop it up with dude. And I won't work with August Alcina, bro. I think he home. I think home at Raw. And he from New Orleans. He do R and B. I didn't know August was from New Orleans. He, he yeah, talk, he from downtown. Kind of like he, from Cali. he from downtown. He from downtown New Orleans. And I think dude, Raw. I wish he'd come make some more music. Right. For some reason, I, and this is on my end of my fan base, not his. Mm. But for some reason, a lot of people thought I was in competition with him early on in my career, because he had just dropped. I loved it. And I had just dropped private room. Yeah. And we both yeah. had curly hair at the time so, and shit yeah, like that. But it was never yeah. competition. Like I, I'm trying to work with the dude. Like, I'm trying to work with him. You hear I'm trying not right. to say nigga too much. I'm trying to work with him. And you know what? That'd be a dope ass collaboration. Yeah, For man. Real. I would love to bring bring a hard ass R and B record to New Orleans with August. Real talk. I wanna work with Lloyd too. He from New Orleans too. What? Lloyd? Lloyd is from New Orleans, but I heard he wow. rapped that now. I thought Lloyd was from down here. Nah, he's from New Orleans. Damn. We saying this live on interview. He is <laughs> okay. from New Orleans. And don't edit this part out. Oh, Lloyd yeah. is from New Orleans. Oh, shout out my dog, man. Shout out to Lloyd, bro. I thought that nigga from Atlanta. Yeah, man. Um, so what can we expect from you, you know, in the future, bro? Oh, man, I'm about to go crazy. Mark my word, I'm about to start driving at least a tape a month. I'm giving them a tape a month. I own my own studio. I got people that back me, producers like Gutter Hits. They hear me ball on the beat, they gonna send me them packs every day. We in the studio doing at least 10 songs in a weekend. Jeez. 10 songs from Friday to Monday, we knocking that shit out together. That's work. Mix, master, ready to go. That's work, bro. Man, I'm looking forward to hearing a lot of this shit, bro. So, especially if you say you're gonna do it like Wayne. Cause Wayne was putting out fucking a mixtape every fucking two days. Man, man, now see, I ain't gonna go as hard as Wayne. It's different, that's, that's, that's a machine. For sure. That's not a human being, bro. That's a that's a machine. You hear me? So I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to keep up with him though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ain't talking about level of fame. I ain't there yet. You know? I'm gonna get there, ethic. but I'm talking about the work ethic. You hear me? As long as I work as hard as them, then one day I'm gonna get there. For sure, man. Man, we happy you came through, bro. It was a pleasure to have you here, bro. I, I'm looking forward to everything you finna do in the future. For sure. You got my motherfucking support. For sure. And you know we're here for you, bro. So that's love. That's love. That's love. Appreciate you.